and welcome back to my channel Becky's Allotment. Um, we've had a bit of fun today with the new uh, brassica cage blowing over in the night. It wasn't even windy last night so um, well, I'm gonna have to make sure it's anchored down properly. I thought it was a bit too heavy to be blown away but it wasn't and that's probably because I had the one side um, done and not the other and uh, wind came down the mountain and it took off like a little boat. Anyway, so that was my fun for today. Um, now I've had a delivery from Thompson and Morgan, so I'm going to show me unpacking this. Um, I really like what I ordered and um, I think it's an ideal uh, buy for either people who, who want to put stuff in their garden, so you want to stack up stock up on fruit and veg for your garden or as a starter for an allotment so it's a starter thing for fruit and veg so I'll show you what I've got. Alright so this is the parcel it's quite a big parcel I wouldn't say it's heavy but it's weighty so I'll open that for you now a box of something. Live plants. So I'll open that in a minute. I think I might need gloves for this one. I know there's some gooseberry bushes in this so they can be a little bit spiky. I don't want to hurt myself. So, let's just tip it all out, shall we? Alright, so let's have a look. We've got this Goodsbury Bush Invicta. So I think there's three in there. So that's three Victor Gooseberry bushes. These are the Raspberry Canes Polka. And there's six of those. And they're starting to sprout as well. Right, let's open this box. We have oh, stuck. It's not stuck. It's stapled to the side. So this is a blueberry bush, Elliot. There's twelve strawberries in there. El Santa. There's another one, blueberry blue crop. Then you get two of these Incredi crop fruit and veg slow release plant feed. And let's have a look. So you get some Thompson and Morgan seeds, and you get ten pounds worth. <laughs> So we've got green calabrese, celeria, monarch, cabbage, onion, <laughs> beetroot,
so that's my Thompson and Morgan and uh, the £52 like starter pack thing. So you get two blueberry bushes, 12 strawberries, six raspberry canes, three um, gooseberry bushes, the Invicta ones, and you get seeds, useful seeds, and these plant foods. So I'm really pleased with that. And uh, if you'd like to buy a pack like this, you can click the link in my description and um, purchase yourself your own uh, little starter pack. And when you're buying blueberries, um, these are in a nine centimeter pot and they're quite small. So it's going to take a few years before they produce a really decent crop. Now this might fruit this year, uh, but you will have to wait a while before you're getting a really decent crop. Now ideally you would buy a bigger plant, especially if you like blueberries like I do, buy a bigger plant. So invest your money in say a two, three year old blueberry plant that is bigger than this but also buy yourself these smaller ones because you can have a few blueberry plants they'll grow in pots easy enough and um, then you'll get a decent crop now my advice is blueberries will fruit in July August and September so you can buy July fruiting ones August fruiting ones and September fruiting ones now, because you want blueberries consistently, then I would buy three big plants and as many as you want of these little ones. There's always deals on these little ones. And this Thompson and Morgan pack is an ideal starter pack. But you've also got to think about how long you're willing to wait. Do you want a bigger blueberry bush because you want a decent crop now? Or are you willing to wait a couple of years? It's up to you. But I really would recommend getting the three June, uh, July, August and September fruit in and you'll have them for three months of the year and all they do is sit in a pot. Don't have to do much to them. Make sure you use ericaceous compost. Now you can't use normal compost, you have to use the ericaceous. Um, I'll uh, put a spell in at the bottom so that you know what you're looking for. But that is what you need. You can't buy anything else for it. So make sure you get that. Plant your blueberries in a slightly bigger pot. These ones are going in my garden because I've got enough ones at the allotment. So this is like my garden starter pack. Uh, the raspberries will go here though because I haven't got anywhere for them at home. Um, but that's it really. Thanks for watching. Right, so when you buy pots, um, some of them won't have holes in, so although it looks like this has, it will need to be drilled in there, in there, and in there. Actually, I won't bother with these ones, I'll just do these ones. Try and get that side <laughs> Nice and easy. Oh, and that's it. You're just gonna help her to do it for you. Right, I am using this multi-purpose compost which has got nutrients in and it should have about four or five weeks food. 
so I will have to feed them later but I filled them up almost to the top I will be topping those up but we're gonna put two of these three gooseberry bushes that I got from Thompson and Morgan into these two pots then I'm going to move the pots to the place where I want them to grow and then I'll water them. They're quite light at the moment, easy to pick up the mug around, but as soon as you water them they're not so light. So I'll just pop these in and then I'll show you. Well, these are the Invicta gooseberry bushes. They're a lovely nice healthy root system and they've started to sprout leaves as well and they came in a plastic bag with some soil in damp soil so that's kept them really well but you really need to get them in straight away so we're gonna pop two of these up and then the other ones go in to the allotment so I've got four there instead of just three I did have four but one died so yeah We'll pop these into the pots now. Hopefully these pots are big enough. I'll pick the two smallest ones. Make sure you wear gloves when you handle these because they can be a bit spiky. That's the two gooseberry bushes done. I'll just put them in place and give them water. Then I'll show you the strawberries. Well, when I came back from the allotment, I got a bit excited about all the stuff that I had and went ahead and popped the strawberries in these pots. Now, these are the El Santa ones I bought from Thompson and Morgan and placed them with the crown above the soil. So all the roots are underneath but this crown is poking up. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in this one, seven in that one. So I had a few extra. Thank you very much, Thompson and Morgan. So there's two trough type pots with the strawberries in. Now the raspberries that I've got, they're going at the allotment and they're going up against a fence. And I've also got um, the seeds to plant.